Hello guys and welcome back to Electro Fags YouTube channel with myself James Benzie aka the Bearded Benzie and just behind the camera that you can't see we have Jen or aka the Dread Baby um, she's operating the camera for me again today because of Chris's mishaps so there will be a punishment installed for Chris at some point <laughs> so today what we're going to be looking at is the iJoy Early Mini Kit now there's a little surprise in this kit uh, as I like to call it the little doohickey um, so we'll uh, disappear, go and do the usual thing, we'll come back and we'll do a nice up close one so you can see what doohickey I'm on about. Call it a doohickey because I didn't know what it was when I opened the box. Now I do. So, see you in a second. Okay guys, so let's have a look. You can see here, this is that little doohickey that I didn't know what it was. So, pop that on there. Probably just out of your shot there actually. So, pop it back. So, I have the red and, uh, would you say gold? Yeah, we'll go with red and gold. Champagne. So, champagne, there you go. Of course, yeah. So, this is a 2200 mAh hour battery. It's a 60 watt with temperature control as well. And it's a smart, it's a smart little hole to be fair. I just quite like that. I like the buttons as well. Very nice. So, I'm just excited because I want to get in to see this doohickey so I can tell you what a doohickey is so you're not all looking at me as though I'm daft. So, we do have the user manual for this kit uh, as well. And there's the tank seat. So you can see I haven't actually used this tank yet. So, this is the new captain. So, this has a push slide on the top. And don't know whether Jen will be able to zoom in just enough on there. It does have a leak row inside the tank. So I'm just going to try and zoom in for you. Yeah, we can see that. So you can just see that there. It's a nice little touch. So let's see what it looks like when we take it out. Ooh. So I wasn't expecting that to be fair. So as you can tell, this is the first time I've actually opened this kit. But it does actually have an RBA system in it. So... Someone's already been and prepared this one for me. It's a like surprise, as you see. But it also does operate with standard coils as well, which is underneath. So let's just take a look what's under this compartment, because this is where the doohickey lives. So the doohickey's come out of its bag, so we'll move those. So this is the little doohickey that I was on about. So as you can see, it does have a protruding 510 pin, and it has like a little rubber seal. So if I take this rubber seal out, oh, I'm knocking the tanks <laughs> over. So in the bottom there, any wild guesses before the video goes on? Yeah, you've guessed it. I didn't straight away. It's so you can put a pod in there. And speaking of the pod, the kit actually comes with its own pod, which I am currently filled up because I have tried this part before with the Salt Fizz Menthol. So it has got a Nick Salt in this pod. So all you do is you slide your pod into the little rubber bung and boom, you can screw this right on. Wow. And as you can tell by Jen's reaction, look at that. So there you go. That's amazing. That is the little doohickey, as I called it, because I have no idea what it was. I'm not a massive lover of those, but look at that. That's a, I think that's a smart little, smart little doohickey. I'm gonna stick with doohickey, I like it. So, let's just move that to one side. Now, we've talked about the doohickey enough, so this one as well comes with its bubble glass. There you can see. Just a standard one, no pearlescence on this one. And it comes with another coil. Now, these are not standard colours, so I like this a lot. These are an RBA, and look at that. Look at it. I like little surprises. The other one had been used and redone, so this one is brand new and sealed in its case, which is just fabulous. So I'm looking forward to testing this at a later date. So in here, again, we have a USB charging lead, and you have, well, that's the smallest seal kit I've seen in a long time, but there are literally just two O-rings in there, which I'm guessing is a top and bottom seal for your tank. And you have your warranty card buried right down at the bottom of that packaging. So guys, I'm just gonna pop back. We'll do a quick look at the tank properly. 
when I've got it in my hand and we'll also have a look at the doohickey in action so I shall see you in a second. Hello guys and welcome back. So I've still got the little doohickey fitted. It is a pod attachment. So it converts. Instead of getting a pod system, this one you can do the best of both worlds. Now we've just been having a look at that coil just off the off chance. And they are a smart little coil. So I'm going to do a separate video just for those. There's a lot more to them. So we need more time for that one. But I'm going to see what it does look like with the tank on. I'm not going to fire it because... And then we'll come back to this little doohickey system. I'm going to stick with the word doohickey because it's kind of stuck from when I got it in. But there you go. That's what it looks like with its tank on. So I'm just going to see what the airflow is like on this because this is a re it does look like a rebuildable coil. However, it is a sealed unit. And like I say, so this is a slide top tank, which is a lot better than the screw on ones. Let's just have a look at the airflow. And it has a stop flow on either side. So let's see what it's like on my preferred airflow. It seems like a tight air draw on that tank. So I'm definitely, definitely going to have to do a separate review just on that tank because that tank's intriguing. This is the first time I've actually opened this box, so I thought I'd do this one a little bit differently. I say it's the first time I've opened this box. It's the first time I've had a look at the coil in any way or shape or form because the doohickey got me the second I seen the box. And I had to find out what that doohickey was. So I've tried the doohickey. I know what the doohickey does. So let's talk about that one. So I'll move that one back out of my way. So these pod systems, obviously, you don't have to go and buy a pod system now because it's the legends at Hydro who created this. So this is just a little attachment. You can see Hydro have just put their, their logo there on the rubber piece. And it is, it is quite a nice little attachment. This pod as well, I don't know whether you can see in there, if Jen can like zoom in and focus on that part, if I pop my hand up and whether it focuses on that, how small that coil is inside there. So this is a refillable pod system, so the top just comes off its little safety catches and you fill it through the top and there is a tiny little coil in the bottom there. So like I say guys, this one is filled with the Salt Fizz Menthol 20 milligram salt nicotine. So this is one of the lines that we have in all of our stores. It's also available online at electrofag.co.uk. Um, so this is the one that I have actually been trying. Now, I'm not a massive Nixalt lover. Uh, I don't actually vape with nicotine, so you may get to see something funny. And for those of you who checked out our uh, Facebook Live video a couple of days ago, we tried a liquid that nearly killed me. Didn't nearly kill me in those, in those words, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so... I'm just going to make this a 12 watts just because I don't want severe nicotine rush because I can't be dealing with that whilst trying to talk to you guys about a doohickey and a mod. Um, just as a little side note, this thing, it doesn't matter which way I'm holding this. I mean, yes, I'm holding it backwards so I can see the screen. You can't really see that and I don't know why I did it down there. But I can squeeze that with my thumb or I can turn it that way and it's comfortable. Anyway. As you see, you don't get a lot of vapor out of this. I am only running it at 12 watts because I don't want to get nicotine rough. So please don't shout at me for that. If you're going to shout at me for anything, shout at me for using the word doohickey. Uh, but that's what I've named it, so that's what it is. It's a doohickey. Get over it. So there is a little battery vent here because it is an inbuilt box mod. So everything is self-contained. And the display is pretty clear as well. I like that display. I don't like it when they put too much information on the display. So, as you can see there, three clicks takes you into your menu settings, so you have power, temperature. Oh. You have your TCR curves, and you also have a settings button, so let's just see what I can do. Let's change this to a hard. So, 12 watts hard, let's see what that's like. That ramp was just instant. Yeah, that's something that I like to see if you switch it from normal to hard is that ramp up time changing so that's a massive plus although it doesn't make much difference on the doohickey attachment the pod attachment I'm still going to use the word doohickey um, so yeah that is the inside look of the mini elite kit uh, from the bosses at I enjoy smashing it as usual, so I'm going to leave you with an increasing shot of that doohickey, just so you remember, it's a doohickey, and remember guys, vape on, vape strong, and keep it cloudy.